Today we're going to make a card for that special someone in your life named Mom. It's a cool card because it's folded three ways. It'll stand up on its own. And the coolest thing about this card is when you flip it upside down, it says wow. Because wow, special mom in your life. So grab a piece of paper, pencils, markers, crayons, oil pastels, whatever you got that you want to work with, we'll work on this one. Is any way you want to do your letters is fine, but the way I've been loving is these giant letters like this, which totally remind me of Paul Clay's artwork, like the one you see right over there, there. Um, and if you remember from first grade, first graders, second graders, third graders, we did learn about Paul Clay and his cat and bird painting. Yeah. All right, all we need for this project is a piece of paper. And this one that I made, it is just on copy paper, which is fine. It'll be a little wobbly standing up, but that's totally, it, it'll still work. So you can use that. On this one, I use chalk to decorate and write my letters. Um, you can use crayons, you can use markers. I would love to have some oil pastels on hand right now, but I don't. All right, we're going to fold our paper in thirds, which is kind of tricky to do. So you may want to get a grown-up to help you, but no worries. If it's not perfectly in thirds, it's totally still going to work. So don't worry if you can't get it exactly right. When I fold paper in thirds, I kind of guess and don't press my paper super, super tight before I try this other side. So you just fold both the short sides in, and hey, that's pretty close. It's not exactly right, but it's totally fine. Um, and then once I think I've got it pretty close, then I go back and I really crease, crease my paper hard, tight. Okay, so you could do it with one whole sheet of paper and it would stand up pretty tall, but I'm gonna cut it in half. And that way it'll make it where I can do two cards and it'll make my spaces more squares instead of tall rectangles. But either way, if you want tall rectangles, you can make your letters super duper tall or you can cut in half to make two. All right, I'm going to start with a pencil and draw super lightly in case I make a horrible mistake, I can erase easy. Now you could do a couple ways. Let's see, I'll show you one way on one side and then another way on the other side. Both ways, any way you write your letters is totally fine. Uh, you could use this chance to practice block letters. When I do block letters, I write the regular letters first. It's kind of hard to see because I'm doing it lightly. And then I go back around and drive around my letters. There you go. M O M. And then I can go and block around that regular letter. Makes it super easy for me to get those good block letters. You might be a block letter pro and might not even need to use that trick. It's totally whatever you need to do. M-O-M, -M. that's great. Um, another way we could do ours, I'm gonna trace those fold lines again, is to kind of make our letters fill up the whole space. Like an artist I love, Paul Clay. Or to do, make your letters look like Paul Clay, the trick is to make them touch the top and bottom of your paper. They have to be really big. M O. Ooh, that's gonna be wonky. You know, I love it. I love a wonky. See, that's how this one is. They touch the top and bottom of my paper so we can fill in the spaces with different colors. So, either way is totally fine. Either way you make it, when you flip it, it says, wow, wow, wow. So, I'm gonna do the Paul Clay side again because I love 
filling in these spaces. It's kind of like painting in a puzzle. There we go. Get my head out of the way. One of these days I'll get this video thing figured out. I promise my head wasn't in that when I was recording it. All right, fast forward. So thanks for drawing with me. I hope all you moms have a Mother's Day that makes you say, wow. Share your artwork and we'll see you next time.